Okay, so first off, let me just say, I have enough Alien and Predator comics to fill up this long box and half of this short box. Pretty neat, huh? Over 10 years worth of collecting comics. Uh, yeah, I gotta... You see shit like this? I'm just saying, totally beats sex. Waste of time, in my opinion. Ugh, why do that when you can spend your time? Oh. So, yeah, instead of just laying out all of my Alien and Predator comics on the floor, I'll just do them in um, bursts, I guess I can say. Ha. Bursts. All right, so first up, the six issues of the original Predator comic. Always nice. There we go. Yeah, first six issues of the original comic. Now, could have been in better shape, all things considered, but, you know, this is the late 80s we're talking about, but still, nice to have. And... I'll just, okay, I'll just save that bit for later. Uh, volume 2, all four issues of that. And then the four issues of Earth War. And these are the prints that have Ripley, Newt, and Hicks as they originally were in the story, not Billy Wilkes and Android Ripley, so that's neat. The... Four issues of Genocide. The four issues of Hive. Uh, Dark Horse Presents Aliens. The uh, two issues of Newt's Tale. And then the three issues of the Alien 3 adaptation. And I guess just so everyone can see the covers of You know, I I do miss cover art like this. You know, it's like, it's not just, you know, a cover for a comic. It's like artwork, painting. Oh, just so, so beautiful to look at. Like, I can totally understand people getting these comics just for the covers alone. You know, I can certainly say the modern Alien comics don't have covers like this. All right. On to round two. Okay, so now next up we got the ten issues of Colonial Marines. Of course, funny thing about this series is that originally was going to be 12 issues, which you will see on the cover art. So, yeah, you see 10 here, 12 here. Uh, you got to love it when a series is cut short, so then the creative team has to kind of rush through things. Yeah, but you know. Still, nice cover art all around, like always. Uh, uh, aliens, Earth Angel. Okay, the um, four issues of Alien Rogue. Alien's Sacrifice. 
Salvation, the four issues of a Labyrinth, the four issues of Music of the Spears, and the four issues of Stronghold. All right, on to round three. Okay, so more one shots this time around. So Mondo Pest, probably the most comic cover we've seen thus far, at least I think. Uh, the four issues of Berserker. Mondo Heat. And another one shot. Uh, Lovesick one shot. Pig one shot. Special. The two issues of Havoc. Pretty metal cover right here, I think. Uh, the Purge one shot. Yep. And the two issues of the Alien Resurrection adaptation. All right, on to round four. All right, got the three issues of Kidnapped. Great covers, as always. Glass Corridor. Stalker. Wraith. Wrath. No. Yeah. Brain's fried right now. The four issues of Apocalypse that are destroying angels. The free comic book day, which, if you flip it over, has the Predator one as well. The four issues of Aliens Volume 3. Fucking love the cover art to issues 3 and 4. And then 1 and 2. Still pretty nice, I think. Still love them. Bit more of an animated look to them, but yeah, like really. Putting these side by side, like, doesn't even look like the same series, but oh well. And then we finally reach what I call the modern era of Alien. The 12 issues of Defiance. I mean, of course, I fortunately don't have the um, Colonial Marines tie-in comic. Or the isolation tie-in comic. Uh, but I'll explain a bit more about the comics I don't have a bit later. Uh, ah, Brian Wood. What an individual, am I right? Right, on to round five. Okay, so before we start, just wanted to uh, uh, point out Fast Track to Heaven, which was a graphic novel, or yeah, graphic novella. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Dark Horse didn't, they, they never did this, so. Makes this one an oddity, but, you know, still... Cool to have. Okay, so, yeah, so back to the modern stuff. Got the four issues of Dead Orbit. The 
for issues of dust to dust. Ah, uh, yes, the thing that kicked off the William Gibson Alien 3 idea renaissance. The, uh, no, what was it? Uh, uh, five issues of the adaptation of Gibson's Alien 3. Uh, and now back to the Brian Wood stuff. Got the four issues of the four issues of Resistance. The four issues of Rescue. And, you know, honestly, going back through these comics again, I take back what I said about the modern covers not looking great because we still got, like, really good covers. Speaking of which, the final Halion Dark Horse contribution, the original screenplay of Alien. We were supposed to get a Predator one. But thanks to the Disney buyout of Fox, that was canceled, so that fucking sucks. Really, really sucks. Speaking of which, got the first ten issues of the Marvel comic. Haven't read, haven't started reading it yet, but I get to it. Eventually. And, you know, covers here are, you know, honestly, pretty nice. Uh, so, yeah, variant edition of issue one and, you know, standard issue. And then the aftermath one shot. All right, so that's that for the alien single issue. So let's move on to Predator. Okay, first up we got volume one, the first series, which became Concrete Jungle. And just like the alien series, really nice covers. The two issue adaptation of Predator 2, just promo material from the movie, so not much to say there. Uh, the four issues of Big Game. The four issues of Cold War. The two issues of The Bloody Sands of Time. The four issues plus issue zero of Race War. The four issues of Bad Blood. Uh, invaders of, Invaders from the Fourth Dimension. And then two different copies of Jungle Tales. The reason I have both is because, oh, the reason I have two of these is because I forgot I had one. Uh, yeah, okay. On to round two. All right, so Strange Row. The three issues of Hell and Hot Water. The 
to issues of Nemesis. The first issue of Hell Come a Walking. Hell Come a Walking. Captive. The first three issues of Predator Volume 2. Then we got the Predators stuff. Got the first four issues of the prequel comic. The adaptation. And then the sequel. So if you've always wondered what happened after the film, this is it. Tells you what happens to... Ah, I'm spacing on the characters' names, but... Yeah, you find out what happened to them here. They do get off the planet, by the way. All right, so then, last few comics for Predator. The five issues of Hunters. The uh, four issues of Hunters 2. And for whatever reason, I never got issues 3 and 4 of Hunters 3. No idea how that happened. I was getting these comics as they were coming out, so... No idea what the hell happened there. But alright, that's it for Predator, so next up, AVP. Alright, so first up, the... Uh, Four issues of the original AVP comic, plus issue zero. The all 12 issues of Deadliest of the Species. And like I've said before, covers here are generally fantastic. The two issues of AVP Duel, first appearance of the Predalien. Booty. The Four issues of AVP War plus issue zero. Uh, the four issues of Eternal. Uh, annual. The First four are the four issues of Alien Xenogenesis and the four issues of AVP Xenogenesis still need Predator. All right, on to round two Civilized Beasts. The first five issues of Three World War. Love these covers. The four issues of Fire and Stone or Aliens. For the four issues of AVP, Fire and Stone. Predator, Fire and Stone. And if you're wondering why for Xenogenesis, Fire and Stone, and then later you'll see Life and Death, I have the Alien and Predator comics within the AVP stuff. Well, I figure since it's all just part of one big crossover, it 
just makes sense to do it that way. And then the Prometheus Omega don't have the Prometheus series. Sigh. Okay, so the four issues of Predator, Life and Death. The four issues of Prometheus, Life and Death. The four issues of Alien, Life and Death. The four issues of Pre of AVP, Life and Death. And then Prometheus Final Conflict. So at the very least, I have everything for Life and Death. And then the first two issues of Thicker Than Blood, for whatever reason, don't have three and four, and also last AVP comic, Dark Horse Made. Rest in peace. All right, but that is not all. For next up, the crossovers with other IPs. All right, so the three issues of the first Batman vs. Predator comic, and... Yeah, I do believe this is the first crossover with another IP. Pretty good comic, actually. I'd recommend reading that if you're a Batman fan. Uh, the two issues of Predator vs. Magnus Robot Fighter. I had no idea who Magnus was until picking up this comic. The four issues of Predator vs. Batman 2. It's honestly amazing just how many crossovers Alien and Predator had with DC. Speaking of which, the three, I guess you can call them graphic novels of Superman vs. Aliens. The four issues of Tarzan vs. Predator. You know, I will say, crossovers like this make all the sense in the world, honestly. Uh, all right, so the was it? Yeah, the two graphic novels of Batman vs. Aliens. The yeah, four issues of Pr Batman vs. Predator three. Uh, the three I guess, graphic novels of Batman vs. Aliens 2. Cool cover there. Yeah, Batman certainly... Well, Batman and Superman certainly had a lot of time with these two species. So yeah, the two graphic novels of Batman or Superman and Batman vs. Alien and Predator. What a fucking title. Uh, the first four issues of Archie vs. Predator. Certainly an interesting crossover, but yeah. The six issues of Aliens vs. Vampirella. The four issues of Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Aliens. And then the five issues of Archie versus Predator 2. I do believe this is the last crossover with another IP. And then on the topic. Got the collected editions of both Archie versus Predators. My dad got these. He's an Archie fan, so he got these to add to his Archie collection. 
But that is not all. I got one more piece of the collection to talk about. But before that, just wanted to point out all of the single issues you saw make up all of this. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. But still, ha, ah, awesome. So the last bit. The original years. The omnibuses from Marvel got the first two. We'll be getting a three and four later on this year. Possibly into next year. And we'll be getting Predator ones. The first one's been announced. And I think once we get a volume two of that, would have collected the entire Predator run. And with four omnibuses of the alien stuff, that'll collect all the alien stuff. And so, so volume one, as you can see here, also collects the Space Marines mini comics that came with the Kenner toy line along with the sh stuff that came in, or the short comics that came in, like, you know, Dark Horse Insider. Uh, is Alien Countdown on here? Aliens are watching us. I guess I'm not here, but yeah. And then for Volume 2, uh, this... Uh, Could have sworn countdown. I am new ceiling. Most percents. Aliens rogue, aliens lab, aliens cold, aliens spears, aliens strong. Okay, okay so, yeah. Oh, then, uh, Aliens magazine. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to do a bit of research, so when I was looking to see if either one of these collected Aliens Countdown. I had to do a quick Google search, and yeah. Uh, Insider 14 to 27, that's the Alien Countdown storyline. And the whole point I was trying to make there is, with these omnibuses, I can collect the comics that would have been a pain in the ass to get otherwise. Like, you know, the Dark Horse Insider stuff... I did start collecting the Space Marines and you know, the Kenner Tyne comics, but this is just, you know, easier. And yeah, so with these alien omnibuses, the Predator one we're going to get, and I hope they announce an AVP one soon, I have no reason to go back and keep collecting the single issues, which, I mean, I don't know, I might fill in the gaps of, like, the incomplete series I have, as you saw throughout the video, but, I don't know, overall, like, I think I may stop the single issue collecting and just stick with the omnibuses. Yeah, just... And yeah, like I said, once we get three and four, or volumes three and four of this, that'll be the entire Dark Horse Alien run. For Predator, I think we just need the two volumes to get the entire Dark Horse Predator run. As for AVP, two to three, I think would be a safe bet. I don't know how, the, I'd have to look at the Alien on the business to see what they're doing with Xenogenesis. I think each one is just going to get, you know, like the alien on the business will get alien Xenogenesis, Predator will get Predator Xenogenesis, but again, I would have to remind myself. Now, of course, the one bit that would be left out are the crossovers with other IPs because, you know, rights are a bitch. Which is a copyrights of bitch. So, for those, yeah, I keep getting the single issues. But for the main stuff, probably just going to stop and stick with that. So, yes, people. That was my entire 
alien predator collection minus the figures. So what do you all think? What does your collection look like? Do you have that? Or what's your favorite alien predator comic story, etc.? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Captain Henson signing off.